Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday. I have mostly resurfaced from my sickness, my little pit of sickness that I was in. My whole family has been sick with the same chest cold and it's just been no bueno. Like, it's terrible. Consequently, I also haven't been reading. I'm literally still working on Supermarket. I know, I read like one more story from Meet Cute and that was okay. It was all right. It felt very insta love, but it was all right. Um, this, however, we ran into a twist. I'm finally on part two, and to be completely honest, I don't love it any more than I did before. So, big shocker. I figured though today was a short day for me. Tomorrow's a short day, and then I'm off for the rest of the week, really. So. What better time to vlog than when I have time off? I'm sorry if I look all like sweaty and gross right now, by the way. Like, I literally just got home from work. I haven't even showered yet. I'm about to go do that. I'm making some food. And then, honestly, I'm just going to work on this a little bit. Because I want to know what happens, like, after the big, the big reveal. Because there's still literally half the book left. So, I don't really know. That's the plan. I'll let you guys know uh, what's popping after that. On the menu today is baked potatoes. I'm gonna eat both of those because I'm starving. And like legit, I'm so glad that I can actually eat now. I ate dinner last night with no problems. The whole time I was sick, I wasn't really eating. And then when I would try, <coughs> excuse me. When I would try, it would just like not settle in my stomach. I just couldn't keep it down. So the fact that I can actually eat now, I ate a successful dinner last night. Um, it's just, it's great because I've been so tired because I've been, you know, malnourished because I'm not eating. Oh my god, I'm so glad I can eat again. <laughs> and so now I'm gonna sit right there and read until my food is ready. It's almost done because I'm only heating it up, but you know, get some reading in. Hey guys, it's been like a full 24 hours since I talked to you and a lot has happened. Last night I watched YouTube for like an hour or something and then I went to Dutch Brothers with my sister-in-law and I got this really massive headache. Like I was literally afraid it was about to turn into a migraine. So by that point, it had been a few hours since I talked to you and I still hadn't started reading. Um, however, I did manage to finish Supermarket. I read the entirety of part two yesterday, yesterday which was about 110 pages. And to be honest, this book is literally not what I thought it was gonna be. It was kind of a mess, to be honest. However, I'm not mad that I finished reading it. I think the star rating was originally going to be like a one star, and then it got bumped out to a two and a half-ish. Just because I feel like the idea was cool, but the execution was just not. And it really seemed like the editors didn't... Okay, so I don't really know, but it really feels like the editors didn't really take their time on it it's like they were jerking off over the amount of money that an artist like logic would bring in and that's just like mm. the book was done a disservice because i really think that it could have been a lot better the potential was there it just the execution was not in other news today at work i broke my watch which is super cool i'm hecka mad about it the at first i thought that just the screen was shattered and that was already heart-wrenching enough but then I realized that the touch screen doesn't work anymore either. The only spot on the touch screen that still works is the upper left hand side in that little corner. Just a little bit it works. And then the rest it just doesn't. I can't even put in my passcode. Which I know I'm like talking about it really calmly right now but I'm so furious about it. I didn't... Mm. That said and done, I think I'm going to pick up Sorcery of Thorns next. I'm not completely sure because I did just get a, a book outlet box again. Um, but I can't remember. When I was watching YouTube yesterday, somebody was talking about this book. And I can't remember who it was, but they just made it sound so intriguing. Look at the cover. I mean, you guys all know the cover anyway. They just made it sound so intriguing. And so I kind of want to pick that up. If I'm not into it, I'll just put it back down again and pick something else up, but yes. I'm honestly so hungry right now, it's all I can think about. I haven't really eaten today, so I'm gonna go do that. I'll let you know what I start reading. Hi 
guys, I literally can't remember the last time I updated you. I think it was yesterday after work. Um, I haven't really been doing that much. I started, what's it called? Sorcery of Thorns. I'm like only 30 pages in, but it's really cute so far. I like it. Otherwise, I haven't really been doing that much. I've been watching a lot of YouTube. <laughs> I've just been really irritable today for reasons, and I just haven't been wanting to do literally anything, but I put away some laundry. I'm feeling a lot better now. I have a book outlet box that I need to open, and I also got my book of the month while I was sick. I got it like probably four days ago or something, so I wanna open those. I'm playing with the idea of filming a book haul today, but I'm not sure if I, <laughs> want to commit to that, you know? Um, but I will show you guys because I want to open my stuff. <laughs> okay, first thing is first. This is what I've been waiting for the most. Obviously, I know what I'm getting, but you guys don't know. Ah, shoot. There's a thing on the front. Hold on. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Let's redo this. I bet you guys can't guess what I chose this month. That's right, it's Anna Kay. You guys couldn't have known that. I didn't accidentally open the box and show you, did I? <laughs> anyway, this is like literally the only book that seemed inter interesting, interesting at all to me. So it's the one I picked up. I think it's YA. It's a retelling of Anna Karenina, which is cool. Has the little book of the month thing. That's the first one. And then down here I have my handy dandy book outlet box. And I'm just gonna go through this pretty quickly, I think. So I got 11 books from book outlet this time. First being, okay, well not first, this isn't in any order. But I got Howl's Moving Castle. This book has been on my like save for later list on Amazon for freaking ever. I love the movie. I have no idea if they're like similar-ish or what, but I saw it on Book Outlet. I was like, I gotta get it. Next is Severance. This book I took off my cart and put back on and took off and put back on. Eventually I was like, I'm just gonna get it because it sounds pretty cool. I guess there's like a plague or something that wipes out New York City and this girl is hired for like some blog or something to take pictures of empty New York City. It just sounds cool to me, I don't know. And then I also have Homesick for Another World which is a bunch of short stories by the author of My Year of Rest and Relaxation which I read in January and really really liked. So I figured I could pick this one up. For some reason I thought this was gonna be like a textured cover textured cover but it's super smooth I don't know if you can like really see that anyway it doesn't matter I bought Windfall by Jennifer E. Smith this I believe is about a girl that buys a lottery ticket for her like the boy that she's in love with is like her best friend and he wins the lottery now he's like a multi-millionaire or something like that and this is just about how things change after that Okay, getting that out the way. Next, I bought the entirety of the, what is this called? The Finishing School series. These books, I've read the first three, I believe, and then I started Manners and Mutiny and never finished it. But I do remember liking them, and I, I kind of have been wanting to reread them. I have... You literally can't see that, but I have her adult books up there. What? There, I have her adult books. These ones are YA, but I do believe they take place in the same world. Again, I've read these first three, not this one, but I've read the first book of the adult one also, and I like them all. I, um, I want to read them all. I want to reread the first three of these especially because I don't remember shit from them. I also got What I Leave Behind. This is a rather short book. It's a lot shorter than I... I was anticipating. For some reason I thought it was going to be a pretty chunky book. But this is like a kid who like something happened and something happened and now he's doing a thing. I <laughs> I remember reading the synopsis and being like oh my god I have to get that obviously because I bought it but I actually can't really remember what it is right now. The same with this one. I'm pretty sure this said Gatsby in the synopsis and I went well Great Gatsby's my favorite book so guess I'll pick it up. I wonder if this has a pretty cut. No, I was hoping it would have like a design or something because the outside is so pretty, but you know, I think I'm asking for too much. 
Anyway, last but not least is the Flame in the Mist. I'm sorry, there is no the Flame in the Mist. This, I think, is a Mulan retelling. I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Anyway, this one I was another one that I was going back and forth about getting, but I think the reviews were good or something like that. So I obviously picked it up. This is all the books. Let me get a better stack. There we go. That's a better stack. So that's all of the book outlet books plus my book of the month pick featuring my lotion and hand sanitizer in the background. Sorry. There's the mini haul. I'll probably record a real haul at some point. No, but really, I'll probably post a haul sooner than later because I also still have those books, books plural, from the uh, last book outlet box I got. And I don't really want to admit it, I kind of hate myself for it, but I also have two more book outlet orders coming in the next, like, month, so... Yes, I'm trying not to have like a really, really big book outlet haul because they're a pain in the ass to record. <laughs> you feel me though? Anyway, I think I'm going to make some food and then I'm going to keep reading. This piercing is fake, by the way. I'm wearing a fake ring to see if I could even stand having a nose piercing. Like just being able to see it and stuff. So far, I really like it. Book haul has been filmed. Now I just gotta figure out what to do with all of these books. Please don't pay attention to this toilet paper. I was sick for like a week and a half. Anyway, I have to figure out where to put all of these. I'm not gonna fuss with it right now though. Because I am super starving and I am craving, ooh, that mood lighting. <laughs> I'm craving mac and cheese. So I'm gonna make mac and cheese and then read a little bit and then maybe figure out what to do with all of those books. Figure, well, rather figure out how to get them all on my bookshelf. All right, so the oven is preheating. The water is ready to boil. I have my water bottle. I have my book. I'm gonna plant myself on this couch and read while my food is cooking, just as soon as it starts cooking, which hopefully is soon because I am so hungry. But as for an update so far, I'm re I'm only like 30 pages in, but I'm really liking Sorcery of Thorns. Like, I feel like there's already a bunch of stuff going on, which is the type of book that I really like. So I think I'm gonna like this one. I mean, I don't wanna jinx myself. <laughs> but I'm really liking it so far. I'm also still working on my coffee from the other day. 32 ounces is way too much for me. I got this free though because I bought a bottle. So, you know. And we've got Spiral Mac and really, really, really overcooked broccoli, but it's okay because I kind of like my stuff overcooked. Anyway, this is a little more burnt than I like, but you know, I'm hungry enough, it's not gonna matter. <laughs> What's up guys, it's about 1 p.m. right now. I am 112-ish pages through Sorcery of Thorns and I am absolutely loving it so much right now. After Supermarket, it's such a breath of fresh air to read a story that's just like capturing me through the whole thing. Now obviously I haven't gotten through the whole thing, but so far there hasn't been a single page that I was kind of like ugh about in this book. Now I don't wanna say how much I think I'm gonna like the book overall cause I don't wanna jinx it, but I foresee myself getting through a lot more of this before the end of the day. I do have tomorrow off as well and I think I can totally finish this by then. I think I will finish this by then because it's reading is like kind of all I want to do right now. <laughs> However, I am going to take a break. I'm getting kind of hungry again and I need to do some stuff on the computer. I should really kind of clean up the apartment. It's still a pretty big mess from being sick and just like neglecting it the whole time. So probably should do that as well. And then I'm just going to get back to reading because I don't even want to watch YouTube. I don't want to watch a movie, nothing. I just want to read this book. So I fell asleep last night and I don't remember ever making a decision to go to sleep. I just kind of opened my eyes and it was morning time. That being said, I think I still went to bed at like 11 something. So it's not like I fell asleep super duper early. Um, I didn't get much reading done last night though. I was messing around on my computer for like seven hours or something. 
something crazy like that and then I was so tired after that I sat down and I read a chapter and then obviously I fell asleep and woke up so I'm actually not that much farther in my book today which sucks but right now all I really want to do is eat some breakfast and read on my Saturday you feel me like I don't even want to get up You don't gotta do all that. <laughs> Literally, making oatmeal in a rice cooker is where it's at. My rice cooker is cooking my oatmeal over there. And the good news is now I'm gonna get some reading done. Ooh, steaming. That looks absolutely disgusting right now. So there's our oatmeal. It's actually mushier than I usually make it. It's usually actually a little bit uh, like firmer, but I put more water and less oatmeal this time because I'm trying to get my ratios right. This is my baseline though. As you can see last time I did it, it was a little too dry, but I think I put a little bit more than three quarters of a cup of oatmeal last time. Um, and these are steel cut oats. Hey guys, I just wanted to update you. Sorry that my face is a little ratty. I got out of the shower not that long ago, but I am about 230 pages through with Sorcery of Thorns, and I am absolutely loving it. I kind of went into this book not knowing anything about it, which I think was the best choice because it's there's no hype around it for me I guess like I know people really liked it but I didn't know much about it so I was like I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not but it's so good it has books that are like living ish like they have characteristics and they they almost seem like living beings I don't really know but like my heart melts every time the book mentions a book in the book book in the book 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 Every time it mentions like it laughing or talking or anything, I just, ugh, I love it. Anyway, I'm in bed now. I have some popcorn. I have my laptop. I'm currently editing the video that you are watching right now, which is like spooky. Um, because I hope to get it up pretty soon-ish. Tonight, if not tonight, then like after work tomorrow. They have me working all day tomorrow on a Sunday, which I'm not too thrilled about but it is what it is i just wanted to give you guys an update i am absolutely loving sorcery of thorns oh my god you guys i'm only putting this book down because because i have to get up early like i would 100 percent keep reading if i didn't have to go to work tomorrow but i'm about like 60 percent through and i am absolutely loving it so much